Hey you guys, it's Vijaya back at you with another video and today I am wearing plaid because I'm going to be making something very iconically Canadian and that's the dessert the beaver tail. Have you guys ever heard of beaver tails? We love them so much here and all that they are are an oblong piece of fried dough shaped in the shape of a beaver tail that's deep fried and then topped with these delicious toppings cinnamon sugar, sugar and lemon, Nutella, and I have a secret one that I'm gonna show you a little later on. It's the perfect dessert, it's crunchy, it's chewy, it's all the things, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make it. But before we get started, don't forget to hit me up on my social media channels, you guys know how much I love that. And of course, if you're looking for the full recipe, just click that info box down below and everything you need is there. Let's go make and eat some beaver tails, not the animal, though. So let's make the dough, it couldn't be simpler. To the stand mixer, I'm gonna add a little bit of warm water and some instant yeast and a pinch of sugar to get that yeast going. So this is a yeasted dough, which means it's gonna have a lot of fluff, it's gonna be really chewy and have that deep earthy flavor, which I love in a fried donut, which is what we're essentially making. A beaver tail is sort of like a thin, stretched out donut that's deep fried, so, so good. So in we go with a little bit of warm water to that, I'm gonna add my instant yeast. And to get my instant yeast going, a pinch of sugar, that's just gonna feed the yeast and make sure that it bubbles. So now that my yeast is nice and bloomed, I'm gonna add a few more ingredients, and these are my wet ingredients before I add my flour. So I have a little bit of warm milk, some white sugar, melted butter, two large eggs, and some salt. So I have my paddle attachment, it's one of my favorites, and because I'm a nerd like that, and I'm just gonna pop it on, and we're gonna blend this up until it's nice and smooth. And that looks perfect. So our wet ingredients are ready to go. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my dry. And in this case, I am using whole wheat flour because that is what they use to make beaver tails. And we are trying to copy this recipe so that you don't have to go to the beaver tail shop and buy them for like eight bucks a pop, okay? I'm trying to save you people money and also give you a very authentic experience at home. So in goes my whole wheat flour. And we're gonna turn the mixer on and mix it until a nice, firm, but sticky dough forms. Check out my dough, it's perfect, it's sticky, it's firm, and because it has yeast in it, we have to let it rise. So I'm gonna cover it in a little bit of plastic wrap, keep it in a corner, and it's gonna take about an hour or an hour and a half for it to rise. And then we can make our beaver tails. Our dough is ready, you guys! Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you what it looks like because it's literally doubled in volume. So here's the big reveal. Wow, look at that. It really, really has risen and it's soft and fluffy. And now we're gonna turn this dough out onto my chopping block and we're gonna flour it up and cut it up into pieces. Okay, so to make sure that nothing sticks, I'm gonna take a little bit more whole wheat flour and spread it out on my board like this. And then I'm gonna tip out my dough. Oh, do you see that? It's so stretchy. Oh my gosh, this is, dough really excites me, you know? It's, oh, it's so, so good and it smells good. You know that smell of really good bread dough or pizza dough, it has that same vibe. And this is going to make about 12 beaver tails. So what I like to do is I like to get a bench scraper like this and flour it a little bit so that nothing sticks and then divide the dough into 12 equal pieces as even as I possibly can make them. So down the middle first. Our dough's been cut up and now we're gonna roll them out into beaver tails. So I like to do one of these numbers because you want it to be sort of oblong, ovally in shape, like Google beaver tail and you'll get the idea of the type of shape that we're looking for. And because this is made with whole wheat flour, it actually rolls out really, really easily. So I have my trusty rolling pin here. I'm gonna flour that up just a touch and then we're gonna get rolling. And you want it to be nice and thin 
and long and oval, as oval as you can possibly get it. So I've rolled out a few beaver tails and now it's time to fry them. I have a little bit of canola oil that I've heated up to 350 degrees and we're going to gently drop these in and cook them for about 30 to 45 seconds on each side until they're golden and puffed up. Let's do it. So I have a mountain of beaver tails. They're fried up, they're warm, they're crispy, they're chewy, and now we have to top them with the most phantasmical toppings ever. And the most iconic, I think, is cinnamon sugar. So I have a little baggie here that I've put a little bit of regular granulated sugar as well as some cinnamon into. And you're gonna take this while it's nice and piping hot, drop it in, and shake it up. Next, we are doing the classic Nutella or Nutella, however you want to call it. We're just going to slather it all over the top. least because Easter is right around the corner I thought I would do something inspired by Easter eggs so I'm going to top this one with white chocolate ganache and crushed up and whole mini eggs one of my favorite chocolates on this planet for it. I'm here for it. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. Unreal. Unreal. The dough is slightly crispy. It's tender. It's chewy. Like my mouth is still salivating as I talk about it. And then topped with that creamy, nutty Nutella. Guys, this is a winner. This even beats what you can get at the Beaver Tail store for $8 a pop. And like when you think about how much money you save making these at home, just go and have yourself a Beaver Tail party. Invite all your friends. They're going to love you for it. It's such a delicious dessert. And the great thing about this one is that you can top it whichever way you want. So we've, we have three options here today. You can also do sugar with like a little squeeze of lemon over the top. That's really, really good as well. Go ham. Have fun with it. Get Canadian, wear your plaid, and eat beaver tails, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give me a big ol' thumbs up. You know how that makes me feel. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe for more videos. And as always, if you have a comment, question, or request, leave it in the comments box down below. Until my next video, I will see you all later. Bye.